So it's been a couple of years since I received this machine and almost a couple of years uh, since I did my first initial review on it. It's time for some final thoughts. I've had it uh, long enough now to have a good feel uh, for the machine. From the comments on that first review, uh, there was some concern about the tables warping. Um, and so I went back and checked last week. It doesn't appear that they have warped. They are pretty much the same as they were uh, when I got the machine. So let's take this board off and get the straight edge out and go through it. Now, just to let you know, this is the uh, straight edge from Lee Valley, and I believe its tolerances are within 002, and that's pretty much, I, hadn't, I didn't get a lot of readings outside of 002, so this is within its margin of error. Let's get 002 out there. 002, okay. I'll try to make this as quick as possible rather than spending a lot of time. Almost wants to go. No, not quite though. Nope. Let's go in the center. Almost, almost. There we go. Just barely gets under there. It's, it's not going to go, well, wait a minute, right there. It goes, yeah. Let's try 003. 003. It is, I'm getting 003 right here easily. So I don't think I got 003 before, but like I said, this is within the margin of error with this straight edge. So there's 004. Yeah, it's, it's getting 004. There we are. It's just barely 005. Okay, so we're not getting the same readings. My initial, um, my readings last week were not quite as good as I thought. Yeah, so 005. Let's try the, I'm going to do crossways too and just see what happens. 002. There we go. 002. Nothing. Yeah, there we go. But I'll try zero zero three there in a second. But it wasn't very easy, so I don't think it's going to go, but we shall see. Two five zero zero three. There we are. Okay, so there's a dip of 005 here, 
and nothing else is out more than zero, zero, 002. Okay, let's start with our zero, zero, 002. Almost wants to go, but not quite. Barely goes right there. I'm not even going to try 003 because it's pretty tight. There. I might come back in 003 there, but I don't think it's going to go. Try zero zero. Yeah, not enough. That's pretty tight. Or did I have it right here? I forgot to go back to this one. This one. Let's try crossways. There, it's almost. It's you got to. Not quite, but it wants to go. There we go. It's going under. Okay. I'm going to come. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try 003. 002, 002. Oh, no, that's 0015. Where is 003? Here we go. Zero three there just a little bit, and let's try zero zero four. There we go. Nope, not going, and we're back at zero zero two. Oh, there we go, a little bit. There's just a hair. And there, let's try, let's go right to 004 and see if it goes any of those places. Right there it does. Almost, well, kind of, it's a maybe there. Let's go zero, zero, 005 on this. There we are, zero, zero, 005, right at the very edge here. Nope, won't do it. So, it looks like my reading last week was not quite as rosy as I thought, but it's still pretty good. Um, those readings up here, 005, are still within tolerance of what I'm good with. Uh, that's pretty good still. Uh, but I think it's, it kind of proves a point to me that, you know, uh, you could go across here all day with a straight edge and every little, those little dips could be, you know, that far apart and you would miss them if you, if you drop down here, it might be good. You drop another inch over, you might find something. So, I mean, yeah, you could get real picky about this and spend a whole day uh, trying to find dips. So, I've only had very minor issues arise with the machine. Uh, one time, the outfeed table, well, it actually came up a little bit. I'm not sure why it comes up instead of goes down, but it came up. And that was just a matter of, you know, adjusting this right here, and it was really easy to get black. It was really easy to get it back where it belonged. Uh, that was an easy adjustment. Another time, uh, there was this rattling noise going on that uh, scared me, thinking some whole machine's falling apart, something horrible. It turned out it was a screw that came loose inside the motor cowling, 
uh, that was also a very easy fix. I should also mention now that I've had, uh, not only with this machine, but my previous hammer machine, uh, about three or four years of, um, you know, combo machine rather than separates. If I had the space and the funds, I would have separates. Uh, but, and if, if, if I was still in production, it might affect me a little more. But I'm not in production anymore. Well, very little production. Uh, so the change over time uh, ha has not a problem at all. The onboard DRO, this guy here, has not needed to be recalibrated uh, since my last video. So that stayed pretty true. Uh, in the last video, I ran some test pieces through the planer and then measured them from either side. Let's do that again. I must say, the uh, motorized lift on the bed there is very welcome after having my hammer machine where I had to get down and crank. Okay, let's see what we have here. What are we coming up on? 0.9, let's go eight, let's go up to 8.75. Okay. As you have noticed, I lost audio on that last clip, so I'm going to have to do a little recreation here. Since everything is still set up, the lights and the machine, just as it was, easy to do. Okay, on this side, see if we can get in close here. Oh, I have a hard time. About eight seven two eight seven three. This side, it's really close to the same. So, two to three thousandths off what the DRO is, almost identical from side to side. I'm more than happy with that. This machine has uh, um, maintained that through its entire life so far. So, very good. So this machine, over the two years that I've had it, has proven to be very consistent, extremely accurate. Um, it's just a good, reliable machine, well built. When I tilt the beds down here and run stuff over to the jointer, I still get that suction when I lift it off the outfeed. That's just this, there's this real tactile satisfaction with that. Uh, if I were to be looking for a machine today, knowing what I know about this one, I would not hesitate to buy it again. Mm -hmm.